So what happens is we run All Souls Day services for years and years and years and years. But the last three years, we've also run the bereavement journey following on from it. So what we do is we invite everyone who's had a funeral in the last five years to come to an All Souls Day service. It's in the evening at 6.30, the time of our regular evening service. And they're all encouraged to light a nightlight uh, to remember someone who's passed away. And as, uh, after they've lit the nightlights, we read out a list of names of people they want us to remember. We read out their names. But everyone who's invited to that service is also invited to the bereavement journey. So these last three occasions, we've had, I don't know, perhaps eight to 12 people and over six weeks, we've talked about uh, the bereavement process. We've, in a way, the bereavement journey gives them a language to talk about bereavement. Mm. And it also, there's this really strong image about how we're a bit like a poached egg. And um, actually what happens is when we embrace our bereavement, we grow to include it. We don't shrink the bereavement. It's actually that we grow. And that's helped lots and lots of people uh, to see that actually this could be a positive. And a couple of years down the road, many of them are doing much, much better than they were when they first came on the course. Are you doing that again this year? Because obviously, I guess bereavement, we've been working with Lost and Hope and At A Loss and the bereavement journey. There you are. There it is. It you starts it on here. Wednesday, the 4th of November. If you were to email um, vicar at lauricehungerford.org.uk, you can come. That's amazing.